are tuned in to the hippest radio station in the Tri-Cities area, 103.5 WAWL. Uh, this is Walk the Beat Radio, and I'm your host for today, Elijah Russ. Uh, Dave Palmer's out of town. He went down and saw the Matt Williams Band at the House of Blues in Florida. So he's down there enjoying the sunshine, and oh, yeah. we're back here scraping <laughs> ice off our cars and <laughs> hanging out. Um, we're here with Dakota Alvarez of Elon Vital. Am I oh, saying, yeah. saying that right? Yep, got uh, it right down to the cool. nitty-gritty. Cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, that's French, isn't it? Yep, French uh, for the impulse of life. Okay. And like like vital force or something like that is yep. like the direct translation. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. I did a little bit of reading before I came Great. in today. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get some research in. <clears throat> yeah, and so tell me about yourself a little bit, man. Um, I've been basically just putting music together since I was 12 years old. Just been trying to work at it, and then around like late into my middle school years, I was like chilling in the band room. Found this drummer. And we just kind of gave each other the look, and we're just like, yo, you want to be in a band? Mm -hmm. Like, of course, you're in middle school. Why not? Yeah. (laughs) We're going to be the coolest thing that's happening. Right? Like, (laughs) no one's ready for this, man. Mm -hmm. And then we were just hanging out, started getting ready, just playing around, jamming out. And then we decided, hey, we should write some original tunes here. Mm -hmm. Like, if we want to be legit. So over time, we started working at it, finding more people to play along with us. And then as soon as we found a bass player actually sat down and writing some stuff, Mm -hmm. we're just like, let's try taking the next step. Who knows where it'll go? Mm -hmm. So we played a couple shows, turned out pretty good. People were liking our stuff. So we wanted to grow and we started adding more people to it, people that'd be more solid with it. And then we decided to take the next step, which was getting a whole album recorded. Mm -hmm. Once we got the whole album recorded, got the sound that we wanted out of it, we were just like, we need to take the world by storm. We need to just hit it hard, make the best of what we got, see where it takes us. So you guys have been together for a while then. Oh yeah, like seven, eight years now. That's cool. That's crazy. Yeah. (laughs) And for the type of music that you play too, you guys hit it right at the right time. Oh yeah. And you're one of the few people that have stayed together out of like, you know, the professional ones and local bands and all that, you know? So when you start, I think, at such a vulnerable age mm-hmm. where everybody's just, they're down with it because you're just playing music yeah, and you're right. in middle school, you know, it keeps you going though, you know? Oh yeah, it keeps you together, keeps you closer, yeah. especially because once you start out younger, like even if you have arguments and fights with everybody, like right. even you've been friends for forever, so it's not like you won't just stop talking to each other. Right. So yeah. even through that just makes us stronger and then shows through our music. Yeah. That's cool. That's really cool. Oh, man. yeah. All right. So what's what's the first song we got? <clears throat> Picture Perfect featuring Tanner Allen. Oh, yeah. Who's that, Tanner Allen? Uh, Tanner Allen is a buddy of mine. Um, he's uh, He was the bass player and the vocalist for a band called Brightwell. Okay. They were um, out of Muskegon over here. Um, and I was hanging out with him because he introduced me to um, the engineer that we actually went to get most of the album mastered and everything. Okay. Which was who now? Uh, Von Isaac. He was the guitar player for Brightwell. Okay. Cool. Yep. Um, once we started talking to Tanner about it, um, I wrote the full song out. And I was like, you know, this has kind of like a pretty melody to it. It's really chill, but it's also keeping it nice and poppy and nice and upbeat. Mm-hmm. Still has that flavor to it. So I was like, you know, your voice would be like perfect over this. You'd add that element that I need to it. Yeah. That would just curve it out just perfectly. Mm -hmm. So he's like, all right, dude, I got you. So finally got him on the song, put it out. And we're just like, the final product sounds crisp. Love it. Nice. Cool. Yeah. So your engineer does some good work then. (laughs) Oh, yeah. That's cool. I was surprised because at first when somebody just tells you at like a cafe, hey, I got a buddy who records. You're just like, that's pretty skeptical. Yeah. (laughs) But... Once I went in and started listening to his stuff, I was just like, all right, he's the real deal. Mm -hmm. Got some stuff actually recorded by him, and I was so happy with it. It was phenomenal. So we're just like, let's get this album going. Yeah, right on. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're going to listen to Picture Perfect featuring Tanner Allen by Elon Vital. They say you'll find them underneath your nose when searching for love. Inside me, into a 
If you're just joining us, this is 103.5 WAWL, Walk the Beat Radio. Uh, my name's Elijah Russ. I'm your host for today. I'm in the studio with Dakota Alvarez of Elan Vital. Yeah, yeah. And so far, so good, man. That was nice. Awesome. Thank you, yeah, dude. Yeah, for sure. And this is on your new record, right? Yep. Tell right us. on the brand new one. Cool. Tell us a little bit about that. <clears throat> Um, the new record we were putting together, um, and we were talking about it because when we picked the band name, we picked it because we wanted to be something inspirational as opposed to just every other band out there. So Alain Vital, we were just like, it's the impulse of life, like vital force. So we wanted to bring something that was more important as opposed to just people talking about little stuff like, hey, let's go get some money. Mm-hmm. Let's go ride around town with my friends. I hate this town. All that stuff. Mm-hmm. So we wanted to be more meaningful so we picked the name tearless tearless um the song on the album is based upon how society drives people to darker places mm-hmm. to do things they wouldn't normally do to feel ways they shouldn't feel very negative so it was basically the song was written to say hey all you people who make people do this just it's not about it anymore it's not vital to our living I understand that. Yep. I can understand that. So every yep. song on the album has to do with some little portion of my life or someone else's life mm-hmm. that would like be more important. There are happy parts, which there are some songs about like pirates, <laughs> grizzly bears. It's about some TV shows because you have yeah. some happy moments where you're just like, hey, I got some stories in my head. Sure. And then there's some that are darker, more serious, like, hey, my relationship life isn't so good. Mm-hmm. Hey, my life isn't so good i feel like nobody's there for me right on hey i finally found some friends to bring me back up some family that has my back now cool so it goes has this dynamic to it to where it starts out like hey it's really good at first and then there's some down times and then there's some up and then right before at the very end of the album looks like it's starting to go even more downhill but at the very end it spikes yeah. back up so the roller coaster that is life. <laughs> yep, right? <laughs> right on. So you do write for yourself then and kind of, you know, relate to people through your personal experiences, mm-hmm. I'm assuming. Okay, yeah. cool. There's a special kind of empathy there with every song. Yeah. Because, like, you know, you get people that write music for other people and, you know, set out to do mm-hmm. that, and which is fine, you know. But for myself, and me and Blue actually had this conversation when I was on the radio last, mm-hmm. um, I think when you do it for yourself, it, it levels you and people relate a little bit more. I think when it's your own kind of experience, you yeah. know, cause we're all going through the same stuff, right? You know? like, even though we're <laughs> different on the outside, everybody's has some type of level of understanding with what you're going through. That's cool. That's cool. Who does all the songwriting then? <clears throat> um, for this album, because it was just uh, me and the drummer at first, mm-hmm. um, me and him basically sat down and wrote the entire thing. Okay. It was before we had every other member. It was just drums, and then I just happened to know how to play guitar and bass. Mm-hmm. Tried finding a vocalist at the last second. It uh-huh. was the worst decision ever. Couldn't find a reliable <laughs> one because everyone wanted to be like, oh, I'll do it, and then just back out. Right. So it was just me and the drummer the entire album. Okay. For, yep. this, for this newest album? Yep. What about all the other stuff that you guys have put out then? All the other stuff that we started putting out like more recently after like around August was a full group effort. Okay. But everything for this album was just uh, the drummer and I. Okay. Putting together over time. So that's like five years of our music together. Okay. So you guys were like, you were like, you and the drummer were like, yeah, we're, we're just going to do this one. Yep. You know? We're, <laughs> we're going to get ready and people could hop cool. on board if they want to. Cool. <laughs> that's cool, man. All right. So the second song is Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Yep. What's this one about? Um, This one is about, um, this was actually more inspired by some friends of mine and what I was going through. People who have like an ambition, a goal that they're trying to work to, Mm -hmm. but then they find some reason that it's holding them back. Either it'll be like, oh no, I don't believe in myself. Uh, People don't believe in me. Or there'll be little things like, oh, I'm working too much, or I have all these other things going on in my life right now. I don't have time for what I want to do. Mm-hmm. Um, and this song's basically saying, you only have one life to live. This is it. Make time. <laughs> Make time or else that opportunity's gone. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Yeah, that's very relatable. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know, I mean, especially for musicians, you know, we just kind of let things go by and yeah you know kind of like, just well, skate by <laughs> i'll do it sooner or later yeah you mm-hmm. know and that's that's just 
not good. You right? know, <laughs> you know, when you start to actually put in the work and stuff and mm-hmm. like see how much success you can have in certain periods of time. It's like, what have I been doing? Right. Like my whole life, what are all these other people doing? How is everybody so successful? And just like, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot being yeah. put into it, you know? Right. So it's just, you just gotta work. You, you gotta know? work at it, get it. And don't hold back. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, this second track is blood, sweat and tears by Alain Vital. Hope you folks enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
If you're just joining us, this is Walk the Beat Radio on 103.5 WAWL. We are in the studio with Dakota Alvarez from Ilan Vital right now. Oh yeah. How you doing? Doing good. How about you? I'm good. I'm good. Oh, yeah. It's a good day. Nice chilling. Sun's out. Everybody's in a good mood, oh, you know? <laughs> keeping it happy. It's good. <laughs> that was a nice tune. Thank you. Yeah, very low key. I love I love that guitar sound. It was so great. The oh, tone yeah. was on point. Well, make sure it was nice and glistening. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. And this same guy did your whole record? Um, yeah. Uh, we got the full length album with all the electric guitars done uh, with Vaughn, and then we were working like as a side project in uh, my little studio for all the acoustic stuff. That's cool. Oh, so yeah. you did the acoustic. So. Yup, I got that acoustic one down. Man, that sounds great. Oh, thank you. Nice work. <laughs> yep. Your voice too. I don't know. We've been saying that off the air. Mm-hmm. We haven't said it on, but I appreciate it. Yeah, man. It's Feel good. Feel the love. How do we get a hold of you guys? Um, you could get a hold of us by going on our Facebook and sending us a message on there. If not, my email is also put on the about section in the Facebook. So um, if anyone wants to message us, even just to say, hey, love your stuff, love what I'm hearing, or if there's any booking inquiries or anything, mm-hmm. just shoot an email or a message on there and we got you. Right on. And then you can buy your music through <clears throat> Bandcamp? Yep. Is that what you guys are on? Yep. You could buy it through Bandcamp, uh, iTunes. We got a Spotify account on there too. So if anyone's oh, cool. searching on Spotify, we're up on there. And then we also have the physical CDs on us at all times. Right on. Oh, yeah. Cool. Alonvital.bandcamp.com. Uh, Alonvitalband.bandcamp.com. Uh, yeah, okay. that's it. <laughs> cool. All right, man. That's good to know. Um, so you guys have a good show coming up. I've been seeing a lot of it on Facebook. We're friends actually on oh, yeah. Facebook. I don't know why, <laughs> because I just met you in person. Right? <laughs> it just happens. That yeah. Way. But for months I've been seeing updates about playing with Asking Alexandria. Yep. We got Asking Alexandria show over on March 9th at the intersection. It's going to be crazy. That'll be cool. It's going to be nutty, man. Who else is on the bill? Um, there's Seraphim, the broken scene, um, and then and the headliner asking Alexandria. I've heard of us. Seraphim. That's oh, pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, they're pretty cool dudes. We played a show with them back over in Muskeg, and they, they bring it down. It's going to be an awesome show. Right on. Oh, yeah. So you think <laughs> these guys are going to be, like, cool and nice people? I don't know about <laughs> metalheads. You know, you, you know, right? I used to go to a lot of metal shows, and <laughs> it's one or the other. There's, yep. like, no middle ground with people, you know? Yeah. Well, I was fortunate enough to, with the past band I was in, I was in I'm William Cutting. Mm. Um yeah, okay. my boys. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when I was with them, I had the opportunity to actually play with Seraphim in the Broken Scene before I started this whole shindig. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I got to make friends with every single one of them. We're all close. We all help each other out the best way we can so that way we're keeping it as like a local unity sure. as opposed to people working against each other. There's always that friendly competition there to be like, oh, I'm going to bring more people to the show. Mm-hmm. But there's never that like hostility to where we can't be in the same room together. That's good. So collectively, all the bands are just working together to make sure we make this one of the biggest shows of the year. And that's why I respect metal so much and have, you know, it it does seem like more of a community than other styles of music, you know, and I think a lot of it has to do with the money, you know, like, you you know, I hate to Mm -hmm. kind of say it, but like, you know, metalheads and like, don't make a lot of cash unless you're like doing it, you know, so people kind of just get together because it's fun. They Mm -hmm. do it for the right reasons, you know, which is cool yeah. so you get a bunch of people in the same room that are about the same thing same life and it's good yeah well, like i'm gonna throw a bow at your face but i'll pick you back up i got you yeah <laughs> and that's why i stopped too i actually got my glasses broken twice i got kicked in the face one time um got a really bad bloody nose oh, you know man. yeah big dude did a cartwheel just kicked me right in the face yeah. oh. <laughs> I was like, yeah i'm over this <laughs> man, but, but there's a fun story to tell yeah man i was at a show over it's at true. the intersection before and it was funny there's this big dude in this like the middle of the circle pit. I was just like, oh, I could, I could take him out. Mm-hmm. Like, dude, and that's <laughs> how like, they think, dude. That's exactly how they think. <laughs> yep. Yep. So I, I looked at him. I was like, I was like, he, he thinks he's big. I, I could take him out. So mm-hmm. I like charged at him, hit him in, right in the back, and he flew. Mm-hmm. I was just like, yeah, I got him. And then this little four eleven girl just came out of nowhere. And, 
bow, right in my face. Yeah. Yep. And they do too. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I was raised differently <laughs> than oh, the situation right? that is being presented. Yep. You're just like, I did not expect <laughs> this. And then she comes over to you later and she's like, hey, high five. Yeah. And you're just like, you just hit me in the face. Yeah. Okay. It's so, weird. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's it's a weird mentality, but you know. Yep. You Community guys, that whatever. hurts each other, but it's all right. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> <laughs> Whatever gets you through the day. <laughs> but cool, All works man. out. Yeah. So we have one more song still. Oh, right? yeah. I can't read this. Blue, what is it? I don't really know what the last song is called. Oh, this Each one is it. called Get Your Clampers Off Me Booty. It's about pirates. <laughs> Get Your Clampers <laughs> Off Me Booty. What does this say? <laughs> that was the name on the MP3. I like the email. Oh, yeah. Um, the EV6. Yeah. Yep. Okay. But yep. it's called. Yep, Wait, it's called Get Your Clampers. Get Your Clamper. What's a clamper? <laughs> oh, it's just like, imagine imagine a pirate's just on like a ship. A He's like, hey, crap. get your clampers off me, booty. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, get right. that pirate vibe going. Right on. <laughs> I like pirate music. Man. There you go. <laughs> all right, so this is Get Your Clampers Off Me, Booty. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> By Yark. Like all right. <laughs>
Welcome back, everybody. This is Walk the Beat Radio, 103.5 WAWL. I'm Elijah Russ. We are back in the studio with Dakota Alvarez of Alan Vital. Yeah, buddy. You guys got a good collection of work. Aw, oh, thank you. I thank dig you. it. Very well Appreciate produced. It. Very creative. Very well put together. Oh, yeah. I like it a lot, man. Got all the collections. All right. So <laughs> for our listeners who can't see the video that's going to be up, um, what's your band camp again? Uh, Bandcamp is Alan Vital Band. Bandcamp. That's E L A N V I T A L B A N D. Dot Bandcamp. Dot com. Cool. Good. Good. Well, this about concludes our time today. It's bittersweet. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was good. This is my first interview on the radio. Right? Mine too. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <Here we go. laughs> yeah, no, it was good, man. It was good to have you here. It was good to be here. I appreciate it. Bring in some diversity. I right? like it. Gotta invite people to more of the mental music. It doesn't yeah. always have to be me. That's right. All right. Well, I want to say thank you to David Darling for doing our video. Thanks, Blue Van Dyke. He's a cool dude. He's at the studio oh, if you yeah, ever need cool his cat. services. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Dave Palmer in Florida right now. Hope you're uh, enjoying it. You'll hear this when you get back, but it's <laughs> 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 good. Uh, don't forget to listen local, everybody. Oh, and thanks, Bill Chrysler, for letting us use your place. For sure. Bill's a good dude. Love you, dude. Thanks, Bill. Bye. The Walk the Beat radio show is recorded in Grand Haven, Michigan. Production and engineering provided by Blue Van Dyke. Featuring your host, Dave Palmer.